Hey guys, so welcome back to Convos with God and it's Vanessa and I just wanted to share something with you that I think you absolutely need to hear. So um, a couple nights ago, I was brushing my teeth and I heard God say, you are an asset to the kingdom. And I know that God was trying to remind me of who I am, right? Because never... God gives us an assignment. The enemy will always try to make you feel like you're not capable. That, you know, who are you that you think that you can do it, right? Because, you know, uh, he wants you to get in your head and for you to doubt and for you to think that, you know, I can't possibly do this. Um, but we have to remember that not, not by might, not by power, but by his spirit, right? Whatever it is that God wants you to do, it's going to be done with your obedience, but by his spirit, right? And so, um, isn't it fitting that, you know, God will tell you one thing, but the enemy will try to tell you the complete opposite, right? It's important who you listen to and who you believe. And so I just wanted to tell you today that you are an asset to the kingdom of, of God. You are an asset. And when you look up the definition of asset, you see that it's something valuable, something of value, something that has some sort of worth to it, right? And a lot of times, what does the enemy do? He tries to get us to believe that we are worthless, that we um, don't have anything of value to bring we have nothing to bring to the table or we're not equipped or who do you think you are type stuff and so if he wants you to believe the complete opposite of what God wants you to know that you are so I just want to let you know that you are valuable right your experiences they matter they bring some sort of value to the kingdom your voice is valuable your story is valuable your obedience is necessary it's it's needed right what you bring to the table like who you are you are an asset to the kingdom of God and you are valuable to God. So don't believe the lies of the enemy to try to make you believe the complete opposite because remember, he is the father of lies. His job is to lie to you and to get you to believe those lies so that you can doubt, so that you can lose faith. And so his job is to what? Kill steal and destroy and he's very good at doing that so i just wanted to remind you today if if for some reason you have any thoughts of like doubt or insecurities or any um you know low self-esteem or feeling like you're not worthy of whatever good or blessing that you're waiting or believing um god for or whatever assignment god has given you i want to tell you today that you are an asset to the kingdom all right you are valuable you are necessary you are needed and god loves you and god as long as you are willing and you are obedient god will use you for his kingdom work and so i just wanted to remind you that today um so that you, we no longer fall for those lies because we need to know our true identity who we are in god mm -hmm.